Let's see. Video introduction. What can I use? Get out, man. Get out! The channel. IL2 1946. Let's set up the lead computating gun sight. We're going to go into the controls options, scroll down. Current gun sight control toggle sight mode. Alt S. That's what I chose. And to change the range, we're going to use this increase and decrease sight distances. We're going to map them to keys uh, for this tutorial on my flight stick. All right, here we go in a late model P47 Delta. And we're going to hit Alt S, Alt S again. And we're in the lead computating gun sight. We're extending the range extending the range close up. These are for your wingspan. And when you get on the enemy six, you try to capture the enemy's wingspan in that certain. Now, in another mission with the 51, I used both sites the circular one for reference. We're going to go just the lead computating gun sight for this mission. We're going to go up against three Luftwaffe aircraft. One's a fighter, one's a twin engine zester, and the other is a bomb. So we're going to engage our biggest threat, FW-190. It's an A-8. His radial versus my radial. All right, so we're going to maneuver. And he's going to take us vertical. And we're going to try to stay with him. And try to line up the crossing shot. Now this is a point where I think the uh, fixed sight is still useful for reference, but it's up to you. Here's a crossing shot we just missed. And just below our shot, so we didn't waste ammunition. Full pursuit. He's going to try to outclimb us. And here we got a good lineup. And the score hits. It just really precision hits. Alright, he's going to do this move, which I'm glad to see. I, I did it the other day in a P 51 where you just drop the nose down and use the engine weight to change direction without stalling. And it's good to see that it's not uh, an, an anomaly in the game. It actually works. Look at that space junk. And our opponent is just amazingly tough. FW 190A8 was a rugged plane, but we scored quite a few close in hits. And we're firing all eight of our 50 caliber machine guns. But he's still maneuvering quite well. Crossing shot. And we're working the throttle.
corner, your opponent is just pulling off some beautiful maneuvers, overhand loops. But we're not falling for him, we're throttling back so we don't get in front of him. And there he goes again, just throttle back, stay behind him. There he goes again. Nice loop. But we can maneuver with him. That's why a, a lag pursuit is sometimes a good strategy to follow. It just depends on the situation. trying to blind us. Rolling loop. We're still on his six. Another crossing shot, but we're too low. Again, conserving our ammo. doesn't have a lot of effect, but he's trailing a lot of vapors. The radial engine can take a lot of damage, it has no liquid radiator. Catastrophic hit. Get out, man. Get out. Splash one. There's the money shot. We took a long time to line that one up. Wingman effed up, or it's going to be a zester just showing up on station. He's on our six. So we're going to throttle down and maneuver in. He's coming in with a lot of speed. He's firing at us. We're going to avoid the shots. Nose up. And just roll back into him. scored a passing hit. And his rear gunner really put the smack down on us. We got some devastating hits in. Well guys, that's going to be Splash 2. I hope you get to try out the Elite Computating Gun Sight. Uh, it's only available on the late war U.S. aircraft. Thanks for watching, guys.